Hello guys, it's me, Big Dave, and today we're doing another Raid Shadow Legends video, and specifically we're going over the Times 10 Summon event for this weekend, which starts tomorrow. I'm going to go over the champs, and as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, yeah, let's, let's see if they actually have done it, but yeah, we'll, we'll go over it, go over the champs, whether it's worth going for, how where these champs help you, and uh, just general chat about the champs so i'll start off with the the obvious ones so we'll start with where is he there he is the king of arena um when this guy came out how much you can really say everyone wanted him for obvious reasons a lot of people compared him to skull crown which i think is a little bit of an injustice um he's far better than her um he hits like an absolute truck there were plenty of videos out there going on with this guy, and I would love to have this guy, but my luck on Lego Voids is absolutely shocking. I do not expect, if I do decide to pull this again, I do not expect to get this guy. But outstanding champ. I'll go over his kit. Um, I, I personally think that, where is it? That, that, the fact that he's immune to stun, freeze, sleep, provoke, fear, true fear... To put to put that into context, um, if you come up against the Kaimar, you aren't putting this guy to sleep as long as that skill is active. So if you you can using him on defense would where a lot of people use him. I would use him in a gold second, and allow Kaimar to sleep him and then smack away. Um, even without decreased defense, this guy absolutely smacks. It's um it's kind of crazy his damage. I have been killed by countless ones of them. Even when I've won the fight and he's the only one left, he's hit me with that and it's over because I've forgotten about the passive. I've forgotten about the yeah the the move that he's got. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Um, obviously he can place true fear. Um, can also place weak gun. Again, what more do I need to say? He has a crit rate in all battles. You can use him as wave clear because I believe, yeah, he's AoE on everything apart from the A1. Yeah, so basically, you can use him for wave clear in Doom Tower. You can also use his aura if you wanted to. Again, they are better. I think it's the same as Bad L's. But yeah, outstanding champ. If you haven't got him and you've got a load of shards to pull. But, but suffice it to say, it's no point. It'll be no point five tomorrow, so... Yeah, that's 200 shards, and then you're not guaranteed to get him because there are going to be other Legos in that in that pool as well. So yeah, Le Leoria's the pride, worth going for if you've got the shards. If you're close, to, if you think you're close to pity and you want to take the chance, I I would I outstanding champ. Right next next on the list, a champ that I would love to have if I could find him. But where is he? There he is. Right, uh, there he is. Um. Salad, salad, Marshallad or Salad as he's affectionately known by me and other, and other players, obviously. Um, what can I say? CC through the hill. Uh, you can run him in Arena where he's an absolute nuisance. You run him a sort of fast and second, a lot of people do, um, so that he throws out fear and then you it's 50 50 whether you go or not. So half your team are probably not going to go. I, most of the time, none of your team goes, I find, when I get hit by this guy. You do get lucky sometimes, but outstanding champ. Um, weirdly, I think I'm close to pity on Sacred, so I might. I might, I don't know. But yeah, outstanding champ. Um, again, you learn. I learn these champs from Arena, not so much from looking at their kits. Because you face these guys and you're like, oh, have a look at what this guy does, and he... he uh, uh, I tend to avoid him now if I see him. Absolute nuisance. So we'll go over his kit. So um, attacks from the enemy, heals his champion by 30% of the damage inflicted. Then the attack enemy, when when then attacked, attacks enemies and enemies. Yeah, so that becomes an AoE effectively because of uh, this. So he places an increased speed, increased crit damage on all eyes. He places fear to fear on all enemies for two turns. Again, seeing him in action is scary. So then his A1 becomes an, effectively becomes an AoE. 
and then I think this is a heal reduction. Attacks around me as a hundred percent chance when bugged to stand up from the target before attacking. Places heal reduction. Also places continuous heal on this champion. Damage fifty percent of his target and have no buffs. So he's good in a goal. He's good in a goal first, I would say, not really in a goal second because he's an attack champ. Um, I believe his passive is attack, attack in dungeons. He can be used in endgame. I've seen comps with him that don't run a seer, that run this guy instead um, because of his total control. And obviously you can run him lead and it'll bump up everybody else in your team. So yeah, um, outstanding champ, brilliant, you know. Can't really go wrong with this guy. Um, yeah. If you can, it's up to you. But yeah, really, really good champ. So we'll go into the newest one of the of the of the, of the batch. So it's what is he on? Noble. And I'll go over his kit. Um a friend of mine, uh Famous Box did a video on this guy. I'll link that in the description below for you guys if you want to have a look. Um it shows a very unique way to play him, and I like I like what he's done. I personally, um, I do like him. I would use him if I had him, but I don't. So, but I'll go. I'll I'll go over his kit. So attacks one enemy has a fifty percent chance when both of decreasing duration of two random buffs on one target. If this target is under two fear or fear, has a sixty, has a seventy five percent chance of decreasing the duration of all buffs. Pretty good. Obviously, can't use it on bosses. Obviously, attacks one enemy will ignore thirty percent of the target's defense. Fills his champion's terminator by twenty five after the attack. If the target is under fear or two fear, decreases the cooldown of dismay, which I believe is his a three. Right. So he attacks all enemies. Has a hundred percent chance of decreasing each enemy's terminator by twenty. If there are any any enemies under fear or two fear debuffs. Will also fill this champion's two meter by the amount that the enemy loses. So you could run him with like a Yoshi who does do fear. Um, if you're using him in faction wars, because I believe Yoshi's is um, he has a chance, I think it's 75% chance of placing fear when he puts on his buffs. Um, so if he has, he has attack, I'm kind of off the top of my head, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can use Yoshi with him. Again, you can use him with Salad, you can use him with any champ that does fear, uh, basically. Elder Skog is a really good shout to use with him, because I believe Elder Skog does the same sort of thing. So the turn meter control is good for waves, but again, you need to run something very specific in order to do it. And if you want to do that, um, like I think Doom Tower is probably where he's going to shine for CC in the waves, because fear and two fear are, are good on any level. So, yeah. So, uh, decent champ, but I'll link Fusebox's video to this guy in the description, because it's um, it's worth a look. It's definitely worth a look. Uh, we're, we're going to the next one, which I believe is Elder Skag, which is up here. Um, no, it's not this guy. That's Rorik. Yeah, I don't have this guy either. Um, and after the, he had a buff recently, um, now decent, good champ, uh, go over his kit, um, attacks one enemy, places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns. If the attack is critical, places a 30% increased crit rate buff on this champion if the attack is not critical. So effectively, he, he helps himself even if he doesn't crit, but you're going to build this guy full crit. I believe he has a crit aura, blast. That's in arena. They think they should really change that because he's not really an arena champ. If I'm honest, he's not. Um, and anyway, attacks one enemy three times, places an extra hit for each debuff on the target, can place up to three extra hits, places HP burn, and then places a true fear debuff for one turn on all enemies if the attack places all three extra hits. So, pretty decent move. L very, very long winded, I must say. But effectively, uh, it's just we have to play CSP burn. Yeah, because he has all buffs. So, yeah, um, outstanding. I, I would go for him. Very good CC. I know a lot of guys I've helped do faction wars where they've used this guy. I'm still a bit vague on his kit. Um, I haven't really used him, I've gone up against him. 
um, people ask me, could I use him? And I'm like, yeah, because he does fear. Uh, this is this is the skill I'm after. Right. Places a 60% increased defense buff the champ for three turns. Places fear debuff on all enemies for one turn. Places true fear debuff for one turn on enemies. Underblocked on targets. Underblocked damage buffs. Places a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns on targets under shield buffs. Um, so, yeah, he basically counters, and that works against legendaries, I believe. Yeah. And then place a provoke a legend. For, so, they what they do, play have done with this guy, is they've thrown him in Doom Tower. So, when you face him, you've got to kind of think out of the box because I believe he's put in with Madden Ceres and Warlord. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's very clever what they've done. You've basically got to CC them. Um, like, I use Sill to CC this guy. And it normally does work, or big gun to cool him down, or big gun to slow him down, stun him, or um, turn his turn meter down. There's plenty of ways to manipulate it, but yeah, he's he's got a lot in his kit that can be used. So yeah, decent champ. I wouldn't say he's worth a ten times, but decent, decent enough. Right. So next one is a guy I use. Um, so we're getting into, we're getting into the rares now. I only go into the rares that. Um, so this guy, where's he gone? There he is. Inquisitor Schmel. Um very, very, very basic. Two two and a passive. The passive, I'll go over in a second, but what this does, um literally I use this guy in high doom tower. So hmm, coffee. I use this guy in Doom Tower on the on the hard late stages. Cause what he does, you run in with a because what he does, if you read it. Uh, attacks maybe three times will ignore twenty five percent of the target's defense. Will ignore twenty five percent further for each buff on this champion. So I run in with um. What I do is I take out my Lissandra, and I run, uh, Duchess. Now you don't have to have Duchess to run this guy, but I like this guy. Two of them, I'd love to get another one of this guy because two of them would basically mean total control. Um, I know some guys use him in arena or were using him in arena. Because he literally, even with, if you can get decreased defense up, honestly, he kills everything. And I mean that. Even in content. And in arena, brilliant. You run two of them. You use a Duchess or a Sifi. Um, and then you go in with this guy and he can absolutely wreck because of this. The A1, yeah, the A1 is... Uh, yeah... Places. Every time, an, yeah, every time an enemy places a buff, he'll hit one time, but it cannot be critical. I won't go into the and it the yeah, it will only deal normal damage. Yeah, that's the only drawback to it. And then each critical each critical hit fills his time with seven point five. Whenever an ally sees a fear or two fear, so again, good in arena because if you're using up against anyone that does fear. He'll, he'll grant extra turns. So, an absolutely outstanding champ. The rest, um, and the other ones are Farcellus, Cornelia, and Mask Fearmonger. I won't go over them. They're average. Um, I wouldn't say. Uh, Cornelia is decent for Doom Tower, but yeah. Um, but the reason why we've done this video, and I can't believe they've done this, genuinely, um, I, am, I am torn whether to pull for a. Um, Madam Saris. As you can see, she's blacked out in my account. Um, arena, arena queen. I need her. Um, the problem is, I also need a see her, and I don't know what to do. But uh, and I think I'm two shards short anyway, so I might have to give it a miss. I think I'm three, two or three shards short of thirty. So yeah, I'm not happy with this thirty, considering that they did. Um, what was it, Ursula for 15, and this girl's double. Is she twice as good as Ursula? <laughs> no, nah, it begs the differ, doesn't it? She's, no, she's not really used in content. You can use her in content, but she's basically made for an arena. You give her about 600, 700 accuracy, and watch her strip everybody. Then your nuka comes in and takes them out. Yeah, on offense and on defense. Absolutely outstanding. She also does a true fear, I believe. So again, you could use her with her. Uh, removes all buffs. Removes all buffs from all enemies. Decreased attack. 
and then decrease his defense. So on a four turn, and this, yeah, attacks all enemies. This is 40%. We've seen one random buff from each target, then places block, block buffs, block debuff buffs on all enemies if the buff is stolen. Places true fear for one turn on enemies who have, who have the buff stolen. Okay, all right, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, um, and also I think she just hits on her own one. Um, so it has a chance of fear for the more buffs they have. So that's pretty good. Yeah, um, I really don't know what to do with her. I probably will. I'll probably manage to get two or three more shards come the weekend, and I'll probably end up going for her. Yeah, um... Is this worth it if you don't have Ceres? And the reason the reason it's torn me is if you think, well, you must be able to get Puller from like um like from a void and get a epic. No. I've been pulling for a year and a half and still haven't got her. And I keep my shards twenty to thirty, maybe forty every event, and I never get her. I've not got her and I haven't got um see ya it's like the game does not want to give me it and if this is the only way i'm going to get it like knowing me i'll get it and then probably end up pulling it next week but yeah um i think it's worth it if you've got 30 but for the guys who've probably got 30 they've probably got her um i can't quite understand why they've done that because she is one of the most used epics in arena she she just is um she's a nuisance on any team Basically, you run a second or third uh, on defense, and then you get the nuker to go after her, and it's over. No matter who you use, like if you use her with say a foley, it's over. It's just done. The game's done. Foley has wiped everybody out. It's yeah. So um, yeah, I'm really talking about this one. Uh, leave comments in the comment section for me, guys, if you can. Um, leave a like. Leave a subscribe. Um, I link the video to Noble down below. Yeah, so it's uh, I, I really <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I probably will. I'll probably pull my sacred to go for salad because I, again, it'd be fun to use salad to be honest. <laughs> it would, but yeah. Anyway, guys, have a have a great day. Uh, I'll catch you guys soon, and. Uh, Big Dave, out.